Hello Libra, welcome back to my channel. I'm glad you all could join me for another week of your general reading. So I pray that you all are staying safe, taking care of yourselves, and just of course being your wonderful selves. So of course you know this is a channel where I give it to you straight, no chaser, but with compassion. But if there are some things in this message that do not resonate with you, then leave those messages at the door, leave them on the floor for somebody else that will come along and pick them up, I promise and guarantee. If you want to book a personal reading with me, my information is down below in the description box. And if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button and like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. So, Gemini, uh, Gemini, I just finished Gemini's reading, okay? Libra, you're Libra, I know who you are. So, <laughs> let's go ahead and get, get into it. Um, maybe I'm still thinking about Gemini because I had to kind of not really put them in their place, but they are being a bit nosy over there. So I said, all right, y'all, don't um, don't get ahead of yourselves, you know, with trying to find out all this information. So if you have any Gemini in your chart, you might want to go check out that video. It might be some messages in there for you. So Libra, what y'all got for me? All right, we have the universe card. But then we have mental conflicts. All right. So it's like somebody might be feeling a bit blocked. Um, blocked from, you know, completing something or blocked from uh, maybe even beginning something. They're just having like a, a lot of mental blocks right there. Um It's also the energy of them possibly needing to wrap up some things or close some things or end some things, but they're having a difficult time doing that because they're too wrapped up in their head about it. And it's like, okay, they're at this crossroads and they're saying, okay, if I end this, then what if this happens? Or what if that happens? You know, so they're just thinking of all of these uh, what if scenarios instead of actually just taking the action to do it. But all this is doing right here, you know, is holding up a situation. So if there is some cycle, you know, because here's the thing. We all, um, we all are working towards, you know, something, or something in particular, uh, you know, whatever that is for you, it's all different. But Whenever we reach the end of that, then we have to wrap it up and start over onto the next cycle or onto another level of it. So, you know, we keep going. Once we wrap up one cycle, then we just start up on another level, you know, of it. Whatever that is, again. But um, right now, there's something that needs to be wrapped up, but somebody's having a hard time doing that. So instead of letting the cycle close out, instead of letting things just uh, completely come to a close, um, maybe renewed or starting over or however it needs to be, um, they're in this mental blocked space of, yeah, fighting against themselves. <laughs> That's what I wanted to say. They're in this mental block space of, um, Holding up the situation. Here we go. That's why I said fighting against themselves. I'm like five of swords. That's a conflict. That's um, inner conflict, outer conflict. Then we have the ten of pentacles in the reverse. So yeah, ten of pentacles in the reverse. You know, this is... Um, <clears throat> Okay, yeah, we're losing out here. We are losing out. The more and more that we hold this situation up, the more and more that we hold energetics to it, um, or that we keep ourselves in this mental rose or this mental crossroads, um, you know, and just thinking about it, instead of letting it just gradually come to an end, and the more and more that we fight ourselves, the more and more that we are going to be losing, the more and more that we're losing. You know, right here with this 10 of pentacles, I just say, but it's in the reverse, and this talks about the end game. This is like end game. Um, you know, the happy happiness, happiness, fam, happy family, happy um, 
work situations, environments, uh, the coins are looking good, uh, the status, everything is just flowing and looking um, on the up and up. You know, it's building this uh, legacy, you know, pretty much it's building something that is going to, um, that's going to go the distance. But we can't go there right now necessarily <laughs> because we're refusing to close out something. We're refusing to separate or take our energy away because we keep giving, giving over to it. So the only thing that this is causing is more conflict. And then we're fighting with ourselves. And then we're feeling defeated. Then we're feeling depressed. And then we're feeling, you know, as if we just keep manipulating ourselves. So someone just keeps doing this mental manipulation to themselves. Mental manipulation right there. Rest and rejuvenate. And then, um... Foundations and achievements. So here we go with uh four four right there. Needing to take a breather, you know, from this situation. As I said, it's causing a lot of mental exhaustion right here. Hell, this internal conflict right here, this mental block, this internal fighting, manipulation, that's a lot of work that somebody is taking themselves themselves through. So <clears throat> They need to take a breather right here. You know, possibly if they are still hurting or something or feeling some kind of disappointment from some situation, then now is the time to heal, you know, from that. And possibly they aren't able to heal because they're leaving the wound. It's like the wounds are still open. It's like they keep leaving the wounds open. The wound might almost close the bit. Uh, but then that person will go back and rip off the scab or something of that nature. And then here we go. We have to start the process over. You know, again, we have to start the process over and over again. But the thing is, we're starting the process over and over again within that same cycle. Do you understand what I'm saying? Let that particular cycle or that particular wound or whatever, let that fully heal and then it transfers the energy into something else something else so it could be another entirely different situation or it could be the same situation but just on another level as i said we're leveling up somebody is not able to get to the next level because they keep taking that scab off <laughs> they keep taking the scab off so did I show? Yeah, I showed you that. Um, we have the Seven of Pentacles comes out in the reverse. And then, who is this? Yep, Big Daddy, the Emperor. Mm-hmm. Not, not tending... <laughs> Not tending to our own garden, right here is what I always say when I see this card right here, you know, investing in our own works, investing in our own life, investing in our own whatever we have going on right here. Because as I said, we are too mentally wrapped up and too blocked with something else from the past, from something that hurt, from something that disappointed. You know, it's we're unable to let it go. But the only thing that that's doing is keeping us from getting to where we need to be. You know, we have shit to do. <laughs> we have achievements to do. We have uh, greatness to accomplish right here. Um, you know, there is much to be celebrated. There is much to be celebrated, but that is going to, that that is coming at the expense at, of someone's mental anguish is what I'm getting. Like I said, they keep, they keep reopening the wound. They keep reopening the wound instead of letting 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 it just heal on its own. Hmm. Hold on. All right, let me just put these last couple cards down. <clears throat> Yeah, the, we need to just let this cycle in, whatever this cycle is, 
<laughs> because if we don't, if we just let it keep going, let it keep going, then this anguish, this uh, block, this hurt, this confusion, this whatever it is, that's just, we're going to keep that going. Do we really want to just stay in that damn cycle? No. Like I said, we have shit to do. We have things to do. We have to move on. So if you need to retreat, whether this is a physical retreat or whether this is a mental retreat, you know, somebody definitely needs a mental retreat um, here. And, you know, you all, you know, you air signs, of course. So I get it. It's in your head. It's in that energy. It's like overthinking, you know, and just thinking about the what if scenarios and, you know, all of the things that we uh, tend to put ourselves through. But <clears throat> pretty much there is no... I don't see any end to this. Uh, and what I say, what I mean is um, we can either keep this same energy going and stay in this place of just perpetual cycles, perpetual fighting with ourselves, perpetual inner blocks and blockages, or we can fully surrender and say, you know what? I wash my hands of this situation. There is no more that I can really do of this right now. So we're going to just surrender it and let things happen the way that they need to happen. Let things uh, play out the way they need to play out. Um, because this emperor coming out in the reverse, this is like just, again, dealing with manipulation and control, but... We're trying, somebody here is trying to manipulate or control this situation. And I feel as if when it doesn't necessarily go the way that they would have wanted or that they were hoping, they have a tendency to kind of act out. I know that might seem, seem weird or strange, but act out... Um, in whatever way acting out is, you know, whether they are throwing a tantrum, whether they are picking fights with people because they are irritable or whether they um, revert back to old patterns or behaviors or something. So, you know, it just, it keeps them in this continuous loop, this continuous loop of pain, continuous loop of hurt, but they need to heal from this. They need to let this um, they need to tend to that Really make sure that they are tending to their garden Because I feel as if And this is a bit similar to Gemini's uh, reading So it's kind of picking up where it left off I love when the readings do that But it's got to pick it up So instead of um, Tending to their own garden They're too busy Just Worried about the outcome Of something too busy worried about the outcome of something, but not really focused on the present moment. So we're looking too far ahead. That's what it is. We are looking too far ahead in the future that we aren't even able to concentrate on right now in the present moment. So you know how we always say be present and that is very important. That is very important. It's two simple words but they are two of the most powerful words on the planet be present because when we allow our minds to just go back to the past and replay these uh scenarios and things and hurts and pains and disappointments and heartaches and heartbreaks and uh just all the shit that life has taken us through when we do that we get stuck we get stuck in those cycles right there and we're unable to move forward. But if we are thinking too far ahead in the future, and what I'm not saying, don't have goals. I'm not saying don't have goals, okay? <laughs> don't have um, things that you are working for or reaching for. But when you set those goals, it's still saying be present in the moment to work on things now so that you're able to gradually get there. Somebody here is too far over there that they can't focus on this. this is, they're having a hard time. And this is where this mental conflict comes in. This is where this fighting, this internal fighting, as I said, maybe even them acting out. 
whatever this acting out is um, for them. Victory and success. And then harmony. Nine of pentacles in the reverse. And five of cups in the reverse. So off the bat, I'm going to say, uh, yeah, somebody... Somebody is needing to um, stop regretting something within a relationship. So... As I said, they could be focused on the um, the heartbreak. They could be focused on the disappointment, the things, whatever that was, you know, for them. They're too busy. They're so wrapped up in that that it's hard for them to close out the cycle, you know, for it. But... Forming a relationship with themselves, you know, as I always say, the relationship starts here first, then all external relationships, um, you know, come into play. But we have to have some kind of relationship within ourselves first. Somebody needs to be very um, stable within themselves. Uh, they need to push forward in their own healing. They need to push forward in their own union, <laughs> you know, with themselves and stop looking back at the regret. Um, of things um, With this nine of pentacles coming out Because I love to call it It's like my solo dolo card It's like the solo dolos You know someone who's single With the energy of someone a Man or woman whoever But someone who's just very independent I feel you know With this coming out in the reverse It's saying that someone's Someone is losing their independence within some type of relationship or something. Um, some external relationship. That's what I want to say. Or they lost themselves in it. And maybe, again, this is what is making it so difficult to charge ahead, to move forward, to let the end be the end. Whatever the end is And letting things um, gradually And organically Just pick up And move Yeah They need to Like The same with these cards You know right here this person has their back turned to these two cups right there and they're focused on what's over here. Focused on the loss. That's pretty much what I said earlier right here. Um, in the reverse, it's saying, yes, we don't need to be in regret anymore. You see these cups right there? Okay, screw it. Those cups fell over? Cool. We have more back here. We have other things. So, what, one, what someone lost in one relationship Hell, maybe they could gain even better in another relationship or they could gain um, an even better understanding or they could gain a better um, aspect of the current relationship is what I'm saying. So if this is a relationship that um, is over and done, but someone is having a difficult time letting that go, um, Letting that go might open the doors for something, like I said, uh, a, a better better opportunity or a better relationship or something to come. If this is for people who are in a current relationship, letting certain cycles, letting certain cycles within that relationship, that current relationship in, then you can begin anew on that new cycle. It, within your current relationship Do you understand what I mean So whether this is a Existing relationship Or whether this is an old Done expired uh, Relationship right there But either way It doesn't matter because it's still saying We need to um, be comfortable In our own skin with ourselves um, <laughs> Solitude I love it We need to be comfortable in our own skin By ourselves for a moment 
and just learn how to really appreciate and celebrate and rejoice in ourselves, rejoice in celebration. So it's okay to be alone. It's okay to be alone. Here we go with the page of wands in the reverse and then the page of cups in the reverse as well too. <clears throat> um, mm, I was I can't remember I'm trying to remember if I said this Maybe I said it in Gemini's reading But you know when I see This page of cups The word just jealousy just popped in my mind So I don't know That's not going to be for everybody But um Someone could be Someone could be jealous of the fact that someone is alone as well or that they are wanting to be alone or that they need to be alone or they that they have some I'm trying to okay because I'm like jealous and alone I'm like alright what the fuck I, why are you going to be jealous because somebody wants to be alone no I feel as if this might be saying someone could be a bit envious or jealous because they see someone who is on their own possibly and who is being celebrated or so hmm Okay, well, if again, in the context of relationship, um, maybe someone does see someone, you know, it's like, okay, well, uh, this person is alone uh, now, and uh, how do I want to say this? God, I'm, it's like I'm having, I'm getting tongue-tied, tongue well, not even tongue-tied, but my words are just leaving me, my thoughts, but... Let me get this out. Somebody is in this energy of just kind of keeping to themselves and really just learning how to, again, be in touch with themselves. Now, however you're touching yourself, I don't know. But be in touch with themselves emotionally, mental, mentally, just in all aspects and things. Someone else could be viewing this and they could be jealous of the fact or they could be envious of the fact that this person who is, you know, just kind of to themselves, keeping to themselves, they are being celebrated in some way or they are celebrating themselves or something. So, you know, that's not going to be for everybody, if that makes sense. But um, Somebody knows that they need to kind of be by themselves too because they've been slacking with something. They've been slacking with taking some kind of action. Um, you know, with something. Could be a new business idea. Could be a new um, project or a new money idea. I don't know, some, whatever it is. But they're needing to uh, be alone right now to regain that focus. So needing to be alone by themselves or uh, be in some kind of space so they can be present in this moment. <laughs> okay, here we go. Intuition. So, yeah, our intuition already knows. We already are well aware of what we need to be doing here. Then uh, passion ignited. And then the hermit card. That's why I started laughing because alone. Here we go, the hermit. So, someone is needing to go into hermit mode. Uh, four of swords. So, again, this is healing. This is more resting. This is more uh, taking a breather, minding our business, um, <laughs> paying attention to our own garden, tending to our own garden, letting things wrap up and go the way that they need to go. Because the more and more that we do this, the more and more enlightenment that we are going to receive about it. So it's like, okay, let this is pretty much like the universe saying, allow us to shine light on this subject for you. You go study, you go work, you go make your money, you go focus on this project, you 
have things that you need to do, <laughs> you know, to get the fire going right there. We need to get this fire lit. We need to get this going. But we will take care of all of this. You stay to yourself. You be quiet. So maybe some people right now are in a season of feeling alone or feeling as if they um, are by themselves. But right now, it feels as if that is kind of needed. I feel as if I said this, something like that, um, you know, about being alone or needing to be by yourself in order to find this um, enlightenment, get this rest, study, work, whatever it was. I feel as if I said that last week <laughs> or maybe the week before for you, Libra. I can't remember. I say I talk so much that I forget. If I did, somebody please remind me. But um you know, if I did, then, hey, this is pretty much another um, version of that, you know. I'm pretty sure that reading was different, but it's still going along the same things. Somebody needing to kind of be by themselves or feeling as if they are by themselves, but that's okay right now because this alone time is that time for studying, working, um, brainstorming, creating, um, healing as well. So, all right, Libra. <laughs> I was like, I hope that hit somebody, but hey, I said what I said. So, even if it doesn't hit anybody, I still made this video and I'm still proud of myself. So, anyway, Libra, if you like this video, please hit that uh, thumbs up button. Like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And if you like, um, oh, I already said that. If you want to book a personal reading with me, my information is down below in the description box. So, you all take care. God bless you. Stay safe. Get your rest. Heal. Um, let the cycles close out the way that they need to. I will talk to you later. Bye.